Hello, everybody. It's a, it's a game feature, and today we are going to react to Mr. Silk. I did some videos of it. If you want to see that, I'll put a card there and put his channel on this card, too. And we're just doing story booth. That's it. But I'm putting different stories in there because um, we're doing everything. We're going to subscribe to the channel. Okay, Hello everyone, how is everyone doing in this mesh cell there? Today we are going to be reacting to Story Booth animations yet again. Now if you guys haven't watched my previous video on Story Booth, Story Booth is a channel where they take your personal real life stories and they animate them. You guys who are subscribed to Story Booth absolutely love them and I absolutely love them. I am huge, huge fans of them. So if you have never heard of Story Booth before, please, please, please go over to their YouTube channel and click that subscribe button, baby. All right, so the first video that we're gonna be watching is Halloween Kiss. Now, I feel pretty weird looking at stories of little kids, you know, getting their first little kisses, okay? But let's just watch it. I was in the sixth grade at the time my school set up a dance. Mm, okay. So I was pretty excited. Me and my friends were just talking a few months before mm -hmm. the Halloween dance. Mm -hmm. So we were playing Shooter Dare and I got a dare. Okay. And one of my friends mm -hmm. said, oh, go ask her cousin to be your date for the Halloween dance. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, I can't ask him. I have a crush on him and he's oh. your cousin. Mm -hmm. Oh. She said, oh no, it's fine. Just go ask him. He's going to say mm -hmm. no anyways. Oh, I, I thought she was saying go date my own cousin. Okay, sorry. That's uh, why I was a bit weirded out at the start. So I went up to ask him and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. He's going to kill me gonna gonna do like, it. oh my god, you're such a lame. He's never gonna like me ever. We're not gonna have any kids. Uh, oh, not gonna have any kids. Okay, this is where I feel kind of weird. All right, well, uh, okay, uh, we're not gonna have any kids. Oh, oh, sorry. I went a little overboard there. Yeah, just but anyways, bit. so I went up to him and then okay. just straightforward asked, Ooh. do you want to be my date for the Halloween dance? Ooh. And then he was just like, what? what? I was like, do you want to be my date for the Halloween dance? And then he's like, what? 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 I said it last time, do you want to be my date for the Halloween dance? And yes. he's like, sure. Sure. Ooh. And I was just like, what? <laughs> My mind just blew up. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though, when a girl, you know, asks a guy out yeah, for a dance yeah, or a date or whatever. Okay, you don't really see that ever, you know? So, fast forward a month later. A month? It's the day of the oh, dance. Uh -oh, the so, I'm wearing dance. my costume. I'm all prettied oh, up, so. and I okay. step into my uh, my dad's car. Okay. And I thought my mom was going to be driving me, but it was my oh, dad. No, uh, oh, not bloody daddy. Oh, no, daddy, I won't touch me. He started lecturing me like, oh, oh whenever boys try to touch you just say no and i'm like um okay i don't uh, okay <laughs> that is so me as a dad okay this bloody boy's trying to touch you you bloody say is a bird i can run i saw my no, date so standing at the food okay. table and we just you know had fun okay we partied we ate we sang a little Aww. bit uh then he took me into the hallway and uh -oh. then he was like okay uh -oh. i'm having the best day okay like right now and That's i was good. like oh my god i'm having the best day too okay. then he confessed he was like you know ever since the first day of school i actually had a thing for you oh. and i was like oh my god i've had a thing for you too oh. and then oh. he just oh he just pulled oh. me oh and then he just kissed me. Oh, bloody mm -hmm. kissing girls? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Sorry, guys. I find it kind of weird, all right? Even mm -hmm. if it is a cartoon, okay? I, I kind of I feel kind of weird, all right? Little girls telling me how they kissing little boys, okay? Oh. He just kissed me. Oh. And then I started kissing back. Oh. And I was like, oh, my God. In my head, I was like, oh, my God. Double brain, like, blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, my crush <laughs> is literally exchanging saliva with me. Oh, wow! Okay, oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to see that shit. Oh, how old is this bloody girl? Didn't she say she was in sixth grade and they're bloody using bloody tongues? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't want to know that she was bloody tonguing this boy and especially not showing it in the bloody animation. Oh, disgusting! Mm. Oh. Okay, so when it was done, um, we started smiling at each other. I was blushing and my dad came to pick me up. My, um so-called date he pulled me to the side and then he gave me an ice cream cone and i was like where did uh -oh. you get this from then he's like um at the dq down the street and i was like you went all the way for me and he was like yeah for me too uh -oh. he started laughing <laughs> i started cream. eating my cone and uh -oh. and then my dad honked the second time like hurry up and i was like oh yeah 
And then I waved bye um, before I went outside because I didn't want my dad to see. <laughs> you better not kiss this bloody boy. So I went in my dad's car and started eating my ice cream. Aww. But yeah, that was it. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm actually dating that person right now. Aww. I guess it was a win-win scenario. Oh, <laughs> the dad just there like, oh, okay, you bloody date my daughter. Oh, that's a kind of cute story, except for the time where they showed, you know, the detailed kiss. Okay, but I think that was kind of disgusting. But that was kind of cute, okay? What a, what a cute story of the fir of the, her first kiss. I'm not even sure it was her first kiss, okay? All right, the next animation that we're going to be watching is called Bad Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how I wasn't, I wasn't a bad boyfriend after school. I never been a bad boyfriend at her, but she been mad at me, so we don't care. Let's, let's skip that. When I was a freshman in high school, I met this guy at a carnival, and okay. I didn't think he was cute at first, but me and him slowly yeah, started to become best friends. Okay. Eventually, we really started to hit it off, and we ended up really liking each other. Okay. For the first few months, everything was okay. okay. We were in our honeymoon phase. Good. And I really thought that I was in love Oof. with him. Oh, okay, you're a child, all right? You don't know what love is. I slowly started to realize that oh. he wouldn't let me do anything. Uh -oh. He wouldn't let me go out with my friends. Oh, I he wouldn't let me text someone that I knew my, and had been friends with for girlfriend. a really long time. I, I he always told me everything. that I wasn't good enough. Whoa. This guy just put me down every single don't day. Do that. And That's... I dealt with it. For three, three. three years. Okay, all right, all right. If you're in a bad relationship, guys, do, do break that shit off, okay? There's there are other people in this world, all right? There's plenty of fishies yeah. in the bloody sea. And I never thought oh, that it was wrong because I had never been in a serious relationship Aww, before. Aw, poor girl. He caused a lot of depression and anxiety for me. Aww. He just got worse and worse, and <gasps> I still was dating him. Why? You never realize how capable people are of being evil. Yeah. No, he didn't say stuff that people could see or yeah, hurt me fake. in any kind of way besides emotionally. Oh, that's so But mean. being hurt emotionally hurts just as bad yeah. as being hurt physically. It, it ruins you just as bad. You're right. To this day, everything he said to me is stuck in the back of my head. But then oh. I think, who was he? Yeah. He was an awful person. Yeah. And the things he said to me weren't true. Yeah. It's taken me a long time to get over it, but finally... I found this amazing oh, guy okay. that loves me for who I am and would never say stuff to me like that. Aww, and I'm see? so thankful that I finally stood up for myself. Yeah, dunk that jerk. Yeah, break up with that bloody jerk, okay? Yeah, like I said, all right, there's plenty of fishies in the sea, all right? This stupid girl found another boyfriend, okay? Don't be with a, a man that's gonna like say mean stuff to you, okay? And vice versa, And uh, as a matter of fact, okay? Damn. All right, the next animation that we're gonna be watching is Don't Judge Me Because I'm a Goth. I am a goth, and okay. being a goth is pretty hard. I get so many remarks every day, like, yeah. hey, Wednesday Adams, where's your brother? Or, <laughs> hey, Morticia, where's Gomez? Aww. Or, hey, Halloween ended. Aww. I remember two incidences that really got underneath my skin. Oh. So the first instance was back last winter, okay. and I was walking mm -hmm. to Walgreens, and I approached the parking lot, mm -hmm. and this little boy is just staring mm -hmm. at me, like, pretty awkward and pretty mm -hmm. uncomfortable, so I decided just to smile and wave, you know? Smile and wave, okay. Like, whirled his head around and looked up to his mom and goes, Ooh. Mommy, Mommy, that girl looks dead. Should we help her? Should we help her? And at first the mom was just kind of confused. And then she turned to me and just let out this giant dramatic gasp and then covered her child's eyes and goes, Honey, don't look. She'll curse you. <laughs> She'll curse you. <laughs> okay, all right. Is that real? All right, fair enough. The kid's just being dumb, okay? He sees something freaky, okay? And he's like, I don't understand this, Mommy. But the mom saying that this girl's going to curse her, okay? She's just a regular yeah, girl. Come on now. Really and then she just glared at me and started calling me a witch. And witch? so I just ignored her and I'm like, okay, crazy lady. I just got to go get my cough drops and I'll be done with her. And <laughs> then when I came back out, she was still there and she was still chanting witch underneath oh. her breath. And then I noticed that she had the charmed necklace around her neck and okay. I just kind of chuckled. She's like, what's so funny? <laughs> And I'm like, well, you're calling me a witch when you have the Wiccan symbol around your neck. And, you know, the word witch comes from Wicca, which I am not. So, yeah, don't be so judgy. Yeah. And don't shield your son from this. Like, it's a horrible thing. Yeah. You're... I just kind of left her there with, like, her <laughs> jaw hitting the floor. <laughs> yeah, what a dumbass girl. She told her in her place, man. Look at her standing up for herself. I like, I like that shit. The second instance 
oh, really bothered me. Oh no! I was ringing up my stuff at the sub checkout. Mm, okay. And this guy is just mm. staring at me, uh, and I could tell that he was very religious. Oh. So I got my receipt, okay. I got my change, my items, and I left. He follows me, oh, no. grabs me by my shoulders, <gasps> whirls me around, and goes, "Child, oh. there is more to this life than worshiping the devil. <laughs> Please don't shroud yourself in darkness." <laughs> I mean, the guy acted like I was gonna be forever cursed in the pit of hell, but I just kind of snapped. Oh. And I was like, you know what? It's Bible thumpers like you that depict gods as satanic and evil, okay? Oh. I'm not sacrificing children. I'm not slitting people's throats. Oh. I'm not drinking goat's blood and running naked in the woods, mm. okay? <laughs> it's a fashion choice, not a religious thing. Yeah. Can you please pull your head out of your butt and realize that? <laughs> and FYI, sir, I grew up in a Christian household Ooh. and I live behind two mm. churches. Damn. All right, so don't tell me I'm satanic before you get to know me. Oh, oh, bloody, look at her wrecking that guy, okay? So, there. Ooh. And then I left. And the look on the guy's face, <laughs> I will never forget it. It was a mixture of, like, holy crud, she's right, and oh my lord, what did I just do? <laughs> oh. Now, so what? I'm goth. Yeah. It's just my decision, but what I wear and how I look like. Of course. I'm me, and I wouldn't want to be anyone else but me. Oh, what a beautiful... <laughs> I am me, and why would I want to be anybody else but me? What a beautiful message. Okay, yeah. this girl, all right, she has got a lot of guts, all right, a lot of courage to just be the person that she wants to be and doesn't let society, okay, tell her who she, she needs to be, okay? Okay, the next animation that we're going to be watching is Birthday Party Prank. There's this girl in my school, and she was really one of the popular girls. Okay. And it was her birthday, and she was hosting a party. Okay. So she went around to everybody that she knew and she gave them invitations okay while i was watching her give the invitation i was like yeah i know she's not gonna come to me Aww. so then it was lunchtime and i sat down and then all of a sudden Ooh. i saw her walking up to me and Ooh. i was like oh is she gonna ask me please please let her ask me i really oh. want to go to this party she handed me this envelope so i opened it and then it says you're invited to she this got party so i was like Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm actually invited to her party. That's sweet. I was so excited that day. Like, Aww. in class, I was just excited thinking about what I'm going to wear, Aww. what hairstyle I'm going to do. <laughs> the school day ended, and then I just had to rush and do homework because the party started an hour later. <laughs> and then I went in my closet, took out my clothes, and did my hair, Wait, took a shower, this everything is a prank, like that right? to get ready for the party. I ran out the house, oh, no. and... I walked there, and it, was, it took, like, five mm. minutes. When I got there, I didn't oh. even see any lights. Mm. I didn't hear oh. music. Mm. I didn't see any balloons. Wow. No. Like, nothing was decorated. It was just dark inside the whole house. Mm. No. I was thinking to myself, wait, did she, like, trying to ditch no. me? Did she prank me? No. Was she trying to fool me? Was that, no. was that I wanted to right? make sure that I'm at the right house, so I looked at the invitation again, and that was her house number, so I looked up at the house, it, and it said that. It. So I was like, you know what? Maybe she did try to what? ditch me. Maybe she did try to fool me. Oh, Maybe she, she did. did try to prank me. Oh. So I ran back to the house and started crying. Oh, and she got all ready. And like I had all these emotions in me. Oh. Like I was sad, oh. mad, tired, frustrated. Oh. I just had to let it out that day. So the next morning came. Okay. I woke up and I actually didn't feel like going to school that day because I didn't even want to see her face. Aww. I said to myself, she maybe thinks that I could never be popular. Maybe that's why she didn't invite me. Aww. I told my mom everything that happened. So then she was like, it's okay, honey, but you have to go to school today. You don't want to miss out any work. So I was like, Aww. yeah, mom, you're right. I should really go to school. That day, go to school. I just went and everybody just stared at me. Oh. And in my head, I was thinking, why wow, they're no, doing I always this. Do that. I do that but a lot. And I just ignored them. I went to all my parents. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. And I just forgot about it. Aww. I just I don't care. That's how it ended. Oh, what a jerk. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that is, the, that is the most horrible thing I have ever heard. Okay, that is not a prank. That yeah, I did that before. I did that, I did that before. I did that. I did that before, and when I did it, I just don't care about no one thing. But I just get school, and then I don't care about school, and I like this is not my best thing. But I already did it, but they thought I was not doing anything good, so I just like get it. I don't even know caring about nothing. 
My friends don't care about what I look or see. But my girlfriend don't care what I look like, you know. She loves my mustache too, and she loves my beard too, thank you. But, um, she, she loves where I go to. She, she, I was going to kiss, she, I was going to ask her, can you add me in Snapchat? If you want to find my Snapchat, just sign it. Is bullying right there. She got all dressed up already, all excited, just for her to be put into the wrong house. That, imagine that, okay? That is a horrible, yeah, horrible, did. horrible feeling. Yeah, I did that it's before. worse than not being invited to the birthday party. It's being invited to a fake birthday I wasn't, party. I wasn't, Man, I wasn't, what a bloody right bitch. Why is it that all the popular people are I'm such right bloody right. assholes, okay? It is not fair, man. All right, the next animation we're going to be watching is called I Lost My Brother. Oh, my. Oh my god. My brother wasn't the nicest person, but we loved each other. Aww. And over time, he developed severe depression. <gasps> no. One day, I was on a class trip, and I was having fun. Okay. So he had just finished up for the day, and we were at dinner. And the teacher got a phone call, and her eyes just got a look of... Terror. What happened? And Chandler just pulled me aside and told me that your brother has been found in the bathroom <gasps> with his wrist slit. My eyes just filled with tears. I went home from the no. trip early. No. And I didn't get to see him. They said I shouldn't have to see him like it. I went to his funeral <gasps> and everyone there was crying. He opened his casket so everyone could see him one last time and say goodbye. And oh. I couldn't go over there. I kind of just had a mental breakdown right then and there at his funeral. I just had to leave and go home. Oh, I couldn't no. take it. I didn't get to see him being buried. Oh. I would just lay in my room, not come out, and my mom would bring me food and be like, try to eat this honey. Oh. And I would tell her, uh-huh, but I never mm. really ate it. Oh. I lost a total of 30 pounds during oh my that God. time. Eventually, I started to come out more and kind of got to the fact that he was gone. Oh. We boarded up his room and we never went in there. Jesus. I didn't go to school for about three months. And when I finally did, everyone would just stare at me and look at me and just say, she's really here Aww. and like, I can't believe she actually came here. Oh, that's horrible. I started going to a therapist because my doctor recommended that. Oh. My mom just did everything she could to help me and my sister get through it. Oh. One day I saw my mom talking to a guy. Okay. And he said, okay, so we're going to put the wall right here. And it turns out they were going to board up my brother's room permanently oh, by putting another addition to the wall. Okay. I didn't want that to happen, so I told my mom no, but she told me they were going to do it anyway. Oh. But before they put up the wall... I went in there, oh. and I took everything out of the room that I wanted to remember him by. Oh. The main thing that I wanted to take was one of his best hockey trophies. Oh. My brother loved hockey, and he had a great trophy that he got to take home after they won the championship. Oh. I saw the trophy, and it sits in my room, staring at me, just taunting me. A lot of the times I walk to the cemetery where he's buried, and I just sit there and talk to him, I guess. Oh. I still miss him, and oh. every day I just think, what could I have done? Oh, my God, what could you have done? You could, oh, that is so sad. Oh, my God, if you need help, wow, guys, please, 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 you need to promise me, okay? No matter how sad and depressed you get, you would never, ever, 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 ever think about doing something like suicide, okay? Suicide, all right, it, it, it's, a, it's a short term uh, solution to a long term mm -hmm. problem okay suicide doesn't just affect your own life okay it affects angle. every single person that does care about you okay look at the impact that this one boy had on his whole family just because he was feeling depressed okay you just know that there's people out there that will talk to you all right that are interested in you all right and you matter in this goddamn world okay i'm really glad I watched this animation now because, you know, these animations, you know, they, they tell some good messages, all right? Please, please, please do not ever do anything like this, guys. Promise me, okay? All right, the next animation that we're going to be watching is called My Dad Was Never There For Me.
I never knew what it was like to have a normal family. Aww. Because ever since I was young, I had a father who was never there for me. Aww. I have a wonderful mother who was always there to support me and comfort me. However, I can't say the same for my father. Aww. He was an alcoholic, <gasps> and because of it, I paid a lot for the damage and pain it brought. Oh, no. I couldn't just be normal. Aww. I couldn't invite my friends to my house because I was scared my father would be drunk and that he would embarrass me in front of them. Aww. I was often jealous of my friends because they had dads who were there to be a part of their lives. Aww. My dad was rarely a part of my life. He was often not even home, and when he was, he wasn't in his right state of mind uh -oh. because he was drunk. And even when he wasn't drinking, he shut me and my family out of his life. Uh he would stay in his room watching TV or playing video games almost all of the time that wow. he was home. It was as if I had been replaced by a computer. Uh -oh. This gave me low self-esteem growing up because I felt unimportant. Uh -oh. It broke me down, and I was often scared to come home because I knew what awaited me was only a torn family. Uh -oh. I remember one night, I was sitting at our kitchen table while my mom was cooking dinner, and I could hear my dad teasing my sister from upstairs, uh -oh. and I could tell he was drunk because his words were slurred. Uh -oh. She finally couldn't take it anymore, and she screamed at him. Yeah, scream Stop it. it. You're drunk. Yeah. Me and my mom were just in shock that uh -oh. my sister had stood up to him. Yeah. My dad yelled at her and accused her that my mom had told her that he was drunk. <laughs> then he proceeded to stomp downstairs to where oh. my mom was standing in the kitchen. He yelled at her. Oh, no. I was sobbing, hunched over in my chair, oh, no. when he snatched a glass bowl <gasps> off the table and slammed oh. it to the ground. He stared coldly at me, as if I didn't matter. He stomped back up the stairs and slammed the door. Whoa. I didn't see him for what felt like weeks. Whoa. A few years later... He was arrested under charges of domestic violence and child abuse. Whoa. He had never physically hurt me, but he had said so many damaging things that by the time he was arrested, I had such a low self-esteem and self-worth that it was actually a relief to see him go. Aww. However, my father was released the next day, oh. and he actually came back home after about a month of living with my grandpa. Okay. My dad started drinking again after returning, Aww. and I actually began to stand up to him. Yeah. I told him, this isn't okay, and I would really appreciate if you try to quit. But he didn't listen to me. Oh. Those few months he lived with us after being arrested was one of the hardest times in my life. Oh, no. Then one day, my mom just had enough, and yeah. she kicked him out, Good. followed by a divorce. Yeah. I have been slowly recovering, and after months, I realized that I am important. You are. And I do matter. And no yeah. one should ever have to feel like they are unimportant because someone makes them feel like they are worthless. Yeah. I'm scared because soon I have to face my dad again for court reasons. Court. But I know in my heart that I am strong and that I will have the strength court. to stand up to him. Yeah, stand up to him. Oh my goodness, what a brave woman. The moral of the story of that video, guys, is that, you know, some families, all right, they're, they're not easy to, to, to deal with, okay? But the most important thing you must do is stay strong and hang in there, guys, okay? Things will get better, you know? You need to just stay through the thick and thin of it all, okay? Damn, what a brave, brave woman. All right, the next animation that we're going to be watching is Adopted. For seven years of my life, I grew up in the foster system. Okay. That's leave my mom's house because of the decisions she made to stop being there for her children. Aww. At the time, it was just me, an eight-year-old girl, and my brother, an 11-year-old, severely autistic boy. Oh, no. One day, the police showed up at her house. Uh-oh. They asked me a lot of questions and then told us I would be staying at my aunt's house with her three kids. Okay. And my brother would go to a home to support his needs. I stayed with my aunt and her cousins for a year and a half until one day my aunt told me to pack some clothes. <gasps> no! I thought I was going to spend some time with my other aunt and no. cousins, so happily I went to pack some clothes, but once I was done, I went to the front room and my aunt told me and my cousin I was going away for some time. Oh. I didn't know what that meant, but we all cried. Oh. And my caseworker showed up. <gasps> my caseworker didn't tell me too much on our car right there, but for the most of the ride, I cried. Oh. Once we got there... I was greeted by someone I would soon look up to as a sister. Ooh. And by more people I would soon consider my family. Aww. I lived there for two and a half years. Whoa. I wanted that to be no, my favorite no. home. My favorite family. Whoa. But I found out my biological mom had another baby. Oh. He was only five months old and the state wanted us to be together forever. Oh, wow. I moved in with him and his foster family. Oh. I watched him grow up, cry, Aww. fuss, change his diapers. <laughs> I never thought I'd have a little brother but there he was right before my eyes. Oh, that's so cute. I thought that was it for our foster mm -hmm. placements, but I was wrong. Oh, no. Something didn't work in that home, and we were moved after a year and a half of staying there. Aww. Now, we were with our very first white foster parent. Oh, okay. A single mother with three cute but crazy kids. <laughs> to say the least on that home, it didn't work, and <laughs> we left. On my last day of school, we were taken to our next foster home. Okay. 
And our last one, thank you, Jesus. Aww. Another white family with four kids, a boy in the 11th grade, okay. a girl going on ninth grade, mm-hmm. another girl in the seventh grade, mm-hmm. and another boy in like the fifth grade. Aww. And of course, two parents, mm-hmm. a mom and a dad, and two lovely black dogs. Aww. Those people showed me and my like brother so much love and care, even after our hearts were broken That's by like so many people, so many different times. Like I never had a father figure in my life. So when I got to this one, I didn't really know how it felt to have a father at all. Aww. December 31st, 2014, we were adopted by these people. Yay! Been here for two years now. I've received lots of love and crazy rules and groundings. Aww. I'm blessed to have a place to finally call home. Oh, that is so sweet. Ma- no, 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 and the thing about that is that you don't really think about these kids that come from foster families, okay, and foster homes. You know, you guys are have no idea how lucky you guys are to have parents, okay, that love you. All right, man, what a what a brave woman, Jesus Christ. You know what, guys? I think when I'm ready to, you know, start a family and stuff, you know what? I think I might adopt a child, okay? Because I think it seems like a good and right, nice thing to do, okay? And also, just because your dad isn't like a strong figure in your life does not hold you back in any sort of way okay you are an awesome person no matter no matter what okay all right the last animation that we're going to be watching is called abuse story i used to know this guy he was my mom's friend okay oh no and he was like kind of nice he can candy oh and let him play his phone a lot okay my mom thought he could trust her Uh uh-oh but one day no. My mom had to go to the store to get barbecue and stuff. No. And so she had to left with me because I wanted to stay. And so when they left, her girlfriend was going to the shower to take a shower while he watches me. Okay. But it was not that good. <gasps> he locked the doors and everything. And something went terribly bad. He did something to me very bad I did not want to do. I didn't want to tell my mom because he told me to not tell no one. And if I did, he would probably threaten me and hurt my family. So I kept quiet. Oh. My mom says, what's wrong? Oh. I said, nothing. It's okay. Oh. So then after days and days, I've been worrying, trying not to tell no one because I was scared. Oh, no. Every school, I could not read. I could not talk that way. And they would be like, what's wrong? And I was like... Oh, it's nothing. I mean, it's just that I'm probably tired. Oh, no. Till one day, I told my mom the truth. Yeah, tell her. She was like, ah, sweetie, is this true? And I said, yes, I'm scared. Oh. And I started crying oh, and crying no. because I, I had let it out. It kept bothering me so much, I had to let it out. It was like a big knot. Oh, no. So I had to tie it. Oh. When I told my mom, we had to go to the police station. They asked everything what he did. So I Damn. did tell them. Until they told me they were to investigate him and that they, or he was denying it. Oh, he was denying it. So I court, went no. to court. They're in court? The court was very scary because I had to look yeah. at him and my lawyer. Yeah. The lawyer asked me questions. But I had to say yes, yes, or not like that. I was very scared. I was shaking and shaking and oh, shaking no. until I dropped. <gasps> it was kind of scary. But ever since... I did the court. I let it out, and it felt good to let it out. Yeah, good. It felt like I was not in pain no more. Yeah. And so I'm putting a bad guy in jail. He's in jail now. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Jesus, if you've been hurt or don't feel safe, you can get help by telling an adult, a parent, a teacher, family, friend. They'll listen. Okay, yeah, that is a true, true message, but guys. Okay, if any, if any person good. touches you or does anything bad to you, okay, you're all right, you don't take, take that shit, okay? And most importantly, you need to tell someone, okay, because everyone would care in that situation, okay? okay you don't... are a victim in that situation. Okay, we want to design this video. So just lying down. We're going to this focus one was already on my 
It was rather, but we didn't do it. Well, hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Please it is Mesha Selfie. Today, we are going to be reacting to Story Booth yet again. Now, if you guys have never heard of Story Booth, they are an amazing channel which take your real life stories and then they animate them. They are a great YouTube channel. They make awesome content and their messages in their videos, you know, are like important messages, which I think every child should watch and listen to. So if you haven't already, which I know a lot of you have. Can you go over to their YouTube channel, Story Booth, and click that subscribe button, okay? Because they deserve it, you know, they deserve everything that they can get. But yeah, I've already made two videos reacting to oh, their videos. I'm not going to make another one after this. But yeah, there is a couple of videos which I really, really want to react to. The first video we're going to watch is a creepy guy followed me. Oh. Uh, some creepy ass guys following her. I was singing with my mom and my sister in the praise team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, I got out of the church that day mm -hmm. to go to my mom's car, and mm -hmm. I see this red car uh -oh. and it starts driving up to me. Uh -oh. I try to walk away as quickly as possible to get to my mom's car, oh, no. and then the red car just stops me. <gasps> At this point, I'm now confused. Like, who is this person, and what do they yeah, want? Yeah, what do they want? This person oh, my God. was also a large set mm -hmm. male. Ugh. He's a really fat shit! From what I was looking at, he looked like he could have been 40. 40? Ugh. I was standing there, and he was trying to ask me my name, Ugh. like a creeper. Ugh. I go from behind the car, and I try to walk to Good. my car. Good. But he caught me oh, no. off guard again <gasps> and followed me to my mom. At that point, I was oh, just no. like, all right, what do you yeah, want? what do you want? Get what out of want it. So you can leave me alone. He's like, I wanted to talk to you because you look nice uh, and you are really beautiful uh, and you look really kind uh, and you got huge tits. Uh, <laughs> he just made corn up and he, oh, oh, this is a little see. girl over here and he just said to her face, oh, that's bloody disgusting. What the sh You know what? I'm not, you know why I'm going to be stupid. If I say that, if I say that to her, she will slap the face on me. She was stuck the, the mess on me and everything. I will not do that to her. Let's be watching this video. Shit! In my head, I'm thinking, ooh, what did this guy just say? Because uh, that's just stupid, okay? I've been catcalled before in my neighborhood, but I just uh, ignore it. Uh, but this dude was taking it to a whole nother level. Uh, he then proceeded to tell me uh, that he wanted to put his digits in my phone. Oh, mm. God, no. Which I proceeded to tell him that I'm 17. Yeah! A 17-year-old girl, and you're lusting after a 17-year-old. That's not even legal! Yeah, no. He then proceeded to drive away. <laughs> Like, and also walk into the church. Oh, Hopefully, uh, if he was inside there, that he didn't prey on anybody else. Uh, that's I disgusting. hate the idea of cat calling because it's really unattractive and it, honestly, altogether, it's stupid. Yeah. Why would you want to purposely call someone just because of how they look? What the hell? I understand that he also said that I looked kind. Yes, I am kind, but not when you try to get with me yeah, tell in your him. car and think it's nice to call me cute and yeah, sexy. You bloody Those weird guy. few males out there who thinks catcalling is really a way to pick up chicks yeah. or females. Mm. I don't know why I said chicks. <laughs> don't. Because honestly, a nice hello nice. and a how are you are just what people need. <laughs> Yeah, that's so true. Like, there's some really weird guys what? out there in the Hello, world. And I hope you guys, you guys watching, are not going to be these creepy, weird guys in the future, okay? If, a, like, first off, don't hit on a girl that's underage, okay? Especially when you're some ugly, fat ass, 40 year old man. Secondly, don't cat call women, okay? Well, how would you like it if you're just walking down the street and then some guy's like, oh, okay, nice pair of titties? Oh. I don't understand when other guys cat call, okay? It's just not needed. It's not going to get you anywhere except make you look like a bloody creepy ass weird man just don't do it jesus christ this world is stupid and dumb sometimes the next video that we're gonna watch is i caught my girlfriend cheating on me on facebook now that's just so mean okay come on now don't cheat on people it all took place in venezuela mm -hmm. okay this girl we're gonna call her stephanie okay. Steph she had light brown hair mm -hmm. brown gray hair. eyes and yeah. fair skin, fair skin? Oh, now go. i did hear rumors about this girl dumping a boy for no oh. apparent reason if they were to date her and leave them in the piles of despair oh. for no apparent reason and no one knows what she's dumping all these guys but so she's, she's a hoe think... she's a hoe and she likes to date a lot of guys but she's also dumped all these guys she's because she's a hoe. a hoe that's what i'm gathering but i just wanted to get to know her what? and so i did why we went from being friends <gasps> until the time oh. stephanie asked me to be her boyfriend oh. and i accepted she even asked him to be a boyfriend that's 
you know she's a bloody no. hoe. I'm kidding. Girls can mm. ask out guys, you know. But come on now, you're a bit suspicious, all right? She, she's breaking up about, with a bunch of guys, and now she's mm. asking you out. What do you think is going to bloody happen? Stephanie asked me to be Break her boyfriend, you, and I accepted. We had a couple of dates. Everything uh, was doing great. Yeah. But he then, said those romantic selfie kisses. Uh, <gasps> okay, don't take yes. selfie kisses, okay? If you're under 18, okay? No one wants to see that disgusting shit. Don't do that. Or you can do it, just don't post it on social media. Oh, if my girlfriend does that, like, I'm with my, I'm with my boyfriend right now. Social media, because, uh. And she will always give me chocolate presents oh. during recess, and I appreciated that. Damn, okay. Well, why can't I find a girl that's going to give me chocolate mm. presents, okay? But mm. everything changed when I saw a photo of her with a man oh. who looked around mm. 16 to 18. Oh, she's with a 16 to 18 year old now? I told you she's a hoe! To make sure that she wasn't doing anything suspicious, oh. I asked her who that guy was, and then she oh. told me it was her brother. Now, oh. see here. She even showed me that he had his own room in her apartment. Oh, okay. Everything changed when I went to Madeira for the summer. Oh, no. I was checking on my Facebook. What happened? Growing up on my timeline. Oh, no. When I saw that picture uh, of Stephanie mm. with that same brother again. Uh -oh. And to make sure that she wasn't uh -oh. lying, I went up to her profile and then no. checked her photos. Okay. Everything was doing good. So oh. fine. Until <gasps> there was a photo of her kissing what? the man on the lips. Ah, she's been kissing her brother! No. Ah! I'm kidding, actually. It's probably not her brother. She was just lying because she's a hoe, okay? She has multiple boyfriends? What a bloody hoe! There was a photo of her kissing the man oh. on the lips. And I was in complete shock. Oh. There were even more photos of her making romantic things with the same guy. Oh. Aside from all the kissing. Oh. And I was getting sad. Like, she oh. betrayed me. Yeah. I thought we had a feeling to each other. Like, she was the one. She, she dumped me. <laughs> 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 How could she do that? <laughs> but I was also angry. Yeah, damn, I would be angry too, okay? I, just, I mean, if you want to break up with someone, break up with them. Why I got a cheat on them? So, when my summer vacation ended, oh. Stephanie came up to me, oh. and she said hi, oh. but then I looked at her in the you eyes, and I glared her, hope. and I told her in angry words, You're a hoe. You cheated on me. I mean, you me. cheated on me! And then I walked away. I walked away, that's right, you The next morning, girl. Stephanie okay. came up to me, oh. crying with tears crying. running down what? to her cheek. And she told me that she was crying for the entire wow. night. Okay. Like you okay. You cry. You bloody cheat <laughs> on me, you yeah. bloody hoe. Maybe you can stop crying if you weren't such a bloody asshole. Yeah. She told me that she was crying for the entire night over those words that I said to her. Yeah, and yeah, she said yeah. that I was everything to her. Yeah, was but I was really mad. I was yeah. mad that she made a huge mistake oh, over wow. leaving me for someone else yeah. while she was still dating me. Oh. Like she mm. left me for another guy. Yeah. I just told her that she made a big mistake yes. to her yeah, life and that she will never date me again. No. I said that the brother was her boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. what again. a weird thing and to say it's her brother. I just looked back in there and saw her crying. Oh. Mm. Yep, I guess it was for the best. Oh. She did try to apologize and then we no. started to become friends again. Okay. But in reality, I wasn't in the mood to be her I'm friend. I'm sorry, again. girl. I, I mean, friends with what hosts. she did to me and other boys was Aww. horrible, it's and true. I don't think she deserves to be my friend again after what she's done. Whoa! <laughs> he unfriended her! Damn! Okay, so, moral of the story of that, alright, uh, girls, don't play with guys' feelings, okay? Yeah, so what? You're a pretty girl, you want, you like getting boys and stuff like that. You know, at least have the decency to break up with this guy before you start cheating on him in the summer hot, summer vacation, okay? That's just, that's just weird, alright? Don't play with anyone's feelings okay especially when you're young okay come on now that can really hurt and scar some kids out there all right kids don't know what love is all right so when you do stuff like this it, it, it must be com confusing as hell so yeah don't play with anyone's feelings in general guys the next video that we're going to be watching is i rescued abandoned mm -hmm. newborn kittens now i want to react to this one is because if you guys didn't know i actually rescued abandoned kittens okay technically okay mm -hmm. i kind of nursed uh, a, a cat a pregnant cat two uh, kittens okay if you guys haven't seen that video you need to okay it's a mess yourself classic anyway mm -hmm. uh no, no. know Let's watch this video. So my mom and I live in these apartment complexes on the second floor, okay. and we have two cats named Bella and Kitty. Oh, With Kitty. being on the second floor, we have this little porch, and our cats are always out there enjoying the views of the apartment complex. <laughs> so everyone kind of knew that we had animals. Okay. One night, my mom and I were sitting on the couch, and we hear this knock at the door. Uh -oh. My mom answers the door, and there's this little boy, and he tells my mom, uh, Hey, um, 
We know you guys have cats, oh. and we keep hearing these crying meows from the bushes, oh. and our parents aren't home, so can you come check it out? It's Kitty. We put on our flip-flops really quickly and dash out the door. It's Kitty. So we go around to the back of the set of apartment complexes, and there's crying from the bushes, oh. and we had our flashlights, and we kind of poked around through the bushes, <laughs> and then my mom sees it. Whoa. Seven little kittens all curled oh. up into a little ball in a big thorn bush, oh. and they don't look good. Oh. I jumped into the thorn bush <laughs> and grabbed the kittens out one by one while my mom Aww. took them from me. My mom and I put them in this little basket that we brought with us, oh. and we taped them up into our apartment okay. complex. We gave them loads of blankets and food and <laughs> washed them up a bit because they were all scruffy from the thorns that they were in. Oh. We were scared and we were worried for their health because they're all blind. They're blind? So we take them to the vet. What? The doctors say that there's not a very good chance that they would live. No. My mom and I obviously are very upset about this. No. So the vet says, well, if you guys are so concerned about this we could take them in but it would be very expensive Aww. and my mom and i we don't really have that much mm. money so we asked if there were any alternatives huh? and they said that we could maybe nurse them on our own we <laughs> of course were like oh no this is gonna be another responsibility my mom would have to take off work because they're all blind <laughs> or i would have to stay home and how can a 13 year old take care Too of cats? cats like that's just not a thing that you know take care of blind cats like <laughs> no that's not gonna happen and we didn't want to give up, so oh, we got right. all the supplies that we needed to help the cats. We got eye medicine for them. Okay. We got this replacement from their mother's milk yep, and I got that too. beds. Yeah, beds. And we all I got gave that. them names. There was rhubarb. <laughs> there was ginger. There was sassy sauce. <laughs> nut job. <laughs> and <laughs> there was nightmare because he was oh. all black, of course. <laughs> Oh, okay, a bit of casual racism there, okay. We mm. cared for those kittens oh. for a good That's three months crazy. in the bathroom. Oh. Slowly but steadily, their sight oh. all returned. Oh. And soon enough, we got to give the kittens out. Oh. And I really want to nurse cats whenever okay. I get older now. That's so cute. That reminds me of the story of between me, okay? Because, yeah, because I think when cats are born, you know, their eyes are kind of shut. But my, cat, my kittens weren't blind, you know. They, they got their sight back you know, uh, uh, after a couple of days. But yeah, what a cute story, man. That kind of, that does really remind me of the time that I had kittens, you know, that I looked after them in my bathroom, literally just right next to me. And I kept them there for like two months and then I found them all really good owners. But yeah, man, that was a really cute story. I really miss having kittens uh, uh, running around Man, it was such a great time. The next video that we're going to be watching is My Dwarf Hamster Died. Now, that's so sad. Okay, I don't know why I'm laughing, actually, when I, when I say it's sad. But, uh, yeah, I've never had, like, a small animal uh, like that. So, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how it affected her when it died. When I was in fourth grade, I really wanted to get a pet that wasn't a fish. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So, we went to the pet store and got a, a Chinese a dwarf hamster. <laughs> And we named her Pickles. Oh, Pickles! And I was really, really excited because this is my first actual pet. Aww. And Hi, where can I get a cab? Taxi, where can I get a cab? Yes, there is a taxi stand there. Oh, cool. Pickles was actually really calm. <laughs> so I would spend days with her just sitting on the couch. Oh. And just, <laughs> just having... Jumping. Fun. But you're having fun with she pickles, didn't yeah. Really run on the wheel. Uh -huh. But I was fine with that. <laughs> she was so sweet and I loved her so much. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it didn't actually bring cookies and milk for you. I think that was just a lie. She was like my best friend. <laughs> she was like Every my day best friend. I would just oh. spend with her. Yeah. Oh, just took her everywhere. That's so cute. One day she bit me <gasps> for the first time uh -oh. and I was kind of surprised. Oh. So I put her in her cage and I waited for her to calm down. Uh -oh. Now, that day was the first day she ran on the wheel, and I was really excited, uh -oh. and I was so surprised, and I was like, oh, you bit me, but that's okay. <laughs> You're gonna run on the wheel. You're, oh, you're no. Right. Is there something so wrong with it? I went to the bed, and when I woke <gasps> up, my no. mom called me from downstairs, no. and she said, no. oh, I think your hamster's dead. No. I was shocked. No. I didn't know what was happening, so I ran downstairs, what? and I saw her. <gasps> she wasn't dead. She was just mm. having trouble breathing. Oh. We think that she fell on her back when she was climbing up the cage oh, no. wall because she was really, really rowdy that mm. night. <laughs> I picked her up and I held her in my hand and just no. kind of no. breathed when she breathed. Mm. I, we just kind of breathed simultaneously. Oh. oh no! We did that for a couple minutes. Mm. 
and then she just stopped breathing. No! Pickles! I was just kind of shocked and like paralyzed and know what to do. No! I put her back in the cage and I just said, Mom, Pickles is dead. No! And then that's when it hit me is, and I just started bawling. Oh, no! I laid down on the floor and just cried. No! So I went to school. No! Everyone tried to cheer me up, no! but it just like it didn't work. <laughs> And I just cried. Oh. My friends, we had a funeral. Oh. They all wrote notes for her. <laughs> I had her in a box. I read the notes that everyone wrote. And then we buried her. Oh, no. I was really upset. It was really sad for me. Oh. Then, it's not like we were replacing her, but we got a new hamster named Buttercup. Oh, okay. But even after, like, three or four years, <laughs> I still miss her. Oh, pickles. Oh, I mean, I was laughing and joking before the video, but, you know, that is uh, kind of sad, you know, especially because a pet's like a member of the family, you know, you spend so much time with it, you know, mm. you, you you care about it so mm, much, mm, okay, but yeah, that's the thing yeah, about death, you know, it's a part down. of life, you know, and especially for animals, you know, they, they die a lot quicker than humans do, and uh, yeah, it's it's sad, but that's just part of life. I have two pets dying, died at the same time. Um, my dog died because they had no water. My parakeets are dead. One, the blue one died because my cat killed killed them. And the and the bird died in the cold because we had no heat in that in that house. That's why he died. And when I when he came back, when I came back to, to when I came to the living room, our flash screen was gone. I didn't know where we were where where it go. Then, then when I went to when I went to the um, when I looked at the um, the 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 coal, when I looked at the parakeet, that parakeet is dead. And I said and I said something and I was, I was talking and I was I was yelling someone's name as a part of my family to see if that bird's dead, and that bird was dead, and I didn't know the bird was dead. I know the cat didn't kill it. I know my cat didn't kill it because he already killed one, 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 the, the blue one. We, we call them Ben and Jack, so we tried to use their names like different because we didn't never use the word name Jack. Or I was going to call the other bird named Jones or some shit, but let's keep watching. But yeah, we'll remember Pickles, okay? Everyone leave a comment right now. Rest in peace, Pickles, okay? He was such a great hamster, okay? We remember you, Pickles. We remember you. I love you, Pickles. The next yeah. animation that we're going to be watching is Mexico Earthquake oh. hit my school. Now, the reason why I want to watch this is because imagine... Okay, we don't get earthquakes in England, okay? Oh, because we are not okay. on those plates. Uh, but imagine actually having Just and experiencing an place. earthquake. Not only experiencing it, but experiencing it as a child and at school. I can't imagine the sort of panic that was going through her mind. Let's watch it. So, I am a victim of the Mexico Puebla earthquake. Okay. I don't mean like I'm dead, nor my house crumbled, nor am I down pieces of rubble trying to record. No. Oh. My house is okay with a few cracks okay. and there, okay. and I am still alive. She's lucky. So during the time of the earthquake, I was at school with my friends. Okay. Now that same day, we had a practice for okay. the earthquake. Whoa. So we were in math class and the bell rang, in which it means that we had to evacuate the school. One of my friends said, hey, what if a real earthquake would have happened today? <laughs> that would be so hilarious. No, so we all laughed at it because we thought it was seriously a joke. <laughs> no. After we evacuated the school as a practice, oh. as a practice. Oh, no. We came back in our original classes and we continued. Okay, and then? After math, it was computer and class. Then? It was one. And one ten, that's when okay. the earthquake started. No way. To be honest, I didn't feel it at first. I felt really, like, sick. Oh, God. I could throw up. But it wasn't really me. It was actually the earthquake. Oh, snap. It started getting stronger and I'm like, am I hallucinating? Whoa. Or is this not me? Whoa. Then one of my classmates screamed. It's an earthquake! Whoa. And everyone stood in shock and we were panicking the drill. because the normal alarm of earthquake didn't do anything. No, it didn't just do it, just do it, just do we it. We just screamed. No! Our teacher was like, please calm down, <laughs> settle down, and please go downstairs very calmly, and we didn't listen. Whoa. Somebody <laughs> screamed, a piece of the roof fell! Oh no! 
phone started running a bit faster oh, down no. the stairs. Then somebody screamed, the stairs are rumbling, no. they're like breaking. Oh, yes. And we ran even faster and they were pushing me, like screaming. Oh, and my I was God. just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not going to die today. Just get out That's of here. So get scary. out of here, Marie. I grabbed on to something, don't remember <laughs> what or who, and we ran. After we evacuated the school, oh. the earthquake started to really calm down, and mm. we were okay. Damn. One of my friends started crying because she didn't know what happened to her mom, <gasps> because we no. couldn't call nor anything. No. After like half an hour, the school was evacuating, because there were cracks everywhere in school, Whoa. and the piece of the roof was actually in front of my class. Oh my god. It was gosh. really scary. When my mom came in, she asked my friends, are you all all right? And they said yes, and we were all terrified. Oh. When I came home, I looked at the news, and some buildings, some schools were really bad. Damn. My school is trying to give donations to Oaxaca and Mexico and everywhere that the earthquakes oh. have yeah. been damaged. Right. What a cute story. Oh, Everything man. will be um, repaired. Everything will be repaired. <laughs> um, nice. See, we're, we're so lucky, you know, I would never have to deal with earthquakes or hurricanes or anything like that, okay, because that's not what it's like where I live, but some people don't have choices to where they live, obviously, I think all kids, you know, don't have a choice on where they live, <laughs> so uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, you just got to appreciate, you know. Uh, that this sort of stuff doesn't happen to you, you know, but yeah, damn that what a scary scary thing to happen an earthquake at your school Well, you got like a bunch of panicking children running around. <laughs> I can't imagine it. It would be crazy The next animation that we're gonna be watching is I became popular and it changed me now I wanted to watch this one is because a lot of you guys, you know Thinking that being popular is important when it's really not, you know, no one gives a shit about high school and stuff like that You know, so yeah, let's just watch it. I remember my first day of high school. Okay, it was really scary. Aww. It was a new school, new people, and I was really shy. Aww. I tried to overcome my shyness so that I could become popular. Oh. My goal was to, you know, become one of the cool kids, join <laughs> a sports team, okay. get invited to parties, you know. Okay. One Fair enough. day at lunch, oh. I tried to find somewhere to sit, and I sat with the cool kids. Uh oh they all stared at me. Like, they, like, they just glared at me, uh -oh. and they thought it was strange for me to sit at their table because like at my school i was sort of known as like the weirdo oh. i don't know why they thought i was weird <laughs> they don't know why <laughs> i tried to join their conversation but they all ignored me oh the next day one of the cool kids she was like one of the most popular girls Whoa. in school okay. her name was mona mona, mona asked mona. me if i wanted to hang out with her after school oh, and okay. i was confused to why she was talking to me <laughs> i said yeah <laughs> okay we became really close okay. afterwards oh. we would share secrets oh. we would hang out after school okay two more people came along uh -oh. and we became like a really close group okay and four of us we were inseparable so they're good friends like, we were like the friends that everybody wanted oh like we would okay. always hang out after school go <laughs> to the mall the movies oh. parties and it felt really great okay it just felt nice to have so all how did it change you then but i sort of changed i started to become like a really mean oh, awful person i was out. really mean to people and oh. i thought that maybe it was mona who changed me oh. because she was known to be a really mean Mona's to a bitch. she would always talk about people behind their backs oh i remember i asked her one day why she wanted to be my friend and she felt sorry for oh. me and she wanted to help me try and become cool instead of this weird loser oh, loner that's what she i didn't know how her. to react to that afterwards i told her that i needed some time away from like the group and her especially Whoa. because i needed to find myself oh. the person that i was being it like it wasn't me it was yeah. this version of mona afterwards i found myself again and oh, things good. are better now good. i made new friends Yay. and i learned from that experience yeah and learned to find myself again yeah well they are oh, what a 
cute story. Mm. Okay, I like this guy. Okay, yeah. Do not hang out, hang out with the wrong crowd. Okay, because yeah, your friends, you know, and the people that you hang out with, you know, especially if they're bad people, you know, it can sort of like define you as a person. And you know, if they're bad people, don't be around them because it's not good. Okay, especially if you want to be popular. Who who cares about being popular? Okay, Mesh yourself was a loser in high school. Okay, now look at him. Okay, now I'm uh, running this YouTube channel and being a loser, you know, in my own uh, in my own space. Mm. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Now the last animation that we're going to be watching is so what if I look different? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on guys, this is a it's a great message. Let's support. Damn. <laughs> this dude i was born with a rare syndrome oh. called tilted disc syndrome okay it affects one to two percent of the population Whoa. and i was one of the unfortunate ones to get it this Damn. caused my eye to be in this awkward location my parents okay. didn't notice it until i was three Whoa. and when i finally went to the doctor for the first time to see about the problem they said they couldn't do anything about it Whoa. so for most of my childhood i had to live with this uh, appearance <laughs> oh. this caused a lot of bullying oh no and a lot of kids to call me ugly no. and a lot of kids thought i was blind no i didn't trust anyone Come except on. a few friends who i had who didn't care about how i looked Yay. around this time there was a new book that came out called wonder Whoa. so i finally decided to read it and this gave me a lot of inspiration to stand up because even though i was born with this weird syndrome Whoa. i knew i was still beautiful oh yes you it's just the other kids were too blind to see it. Aww. I got through my elementary school years, uh -oh. and I finally got the treatment I needed Whoa. so then I could have a normal appearance. You got surgery! Though there were a lot of side effects. Uh -oh. I did get sick, and I got a lot of headaches, oh, no. but that was only for a few months. Oh. And then finally I was good. Oh, okay. But they had to plant these metal implants oh. so then my eye could be adjusted. Uh. And that caused some weird facial expressions. So whenever I grinned, it would look really weird. Oh, God. And whenever <laughs> I was looking over at someone, my eyes would be really wide open. <laughs> A lot of kids started to call me the devil. Aww. And it was really really sad Come on. this caused a lot of depression no. in me. so i thought of what the wonder kid augie would do and i realized that who cares yeah you be you yes. you're amazing yes. i just went with that throughout my middle school years yes i'm a freshman in high school now and i don't care how i look i don't care if i have a weird facial expression i don't care if i once was a freak yeah i just be myself be yourself and that is what gets you through life so to all those people who are being bullied out there for their looks, oh. just remember, you are beautiful on the inside, oh. and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh, what a beautiful message. Yes, guys. What I couldn't have said it any, any better myself, honestly. Okay, you are beautiful inside, you know, and, it, like, it doesn't, like, no one actually cares how you look, okay? Like, it, it, it all matters how you feel about yourself, you know? Don't let anyone's opinions, you know, affect you seriously because, like, they don't know you. Like, they do not know you. They do not know your life. They do not know your struggle, okay? No one has the right to call someone else ugly or call someone else fat or call someone else any sort of names. No one has that right, okay? Because they do not know you as a person and you are not the person that they think that you are. Okay, guys? All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. I hope you did enjoy. Story Booth are amazing, okay? Yeah, I'm really good with the... And people say all about what I have, but I'm just making a video off of it. If you, if you, I told you, if you get the three views, you made it. You was, you was blowing up on that bit. You was born, you was, you was, you, you was blown, you was blowing up on that, on that video. Not go myself. I, you was blowing up my, you was blowing up my channel very quickly. You blow up with my, my. The video of my girlfriend that I was talking about her. That's a lot. That's a big. That's a big. That that you black. You blowing it up. But something's wrong with the channel right now. Um, I want you to. This, you, I need you to get more people to subscribe to my channel because I'm losing it. I have 50 before. I have 49. Now I have 58 before. Then I have 47. I wish I don't go down to 40. 46 right now, I don't want to because I've been at like the 40s before, 
but I need you didn't even know. And I took and I did test false for a minute. I did test false for a minute and she needs to give and she needs to give me a response. And I need to give the, give her. Then I think that's all I could do. Join the Key Bay crew. Love you. Bye bye.